Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Guy Sun, and we got a special guest today on uh, interview from Bobby Canada 2, and she is a co-leader of Bobby Canada 2 as well. Now, do you go by Mish or Michelle? Well, Mish has been my nickname, Mish Peanut, actually, because I'm the littlest in my family mm. since I was born. So it just kind of stuck. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, okay, uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you is how exactly did you get into Clash of Clans? Um, I used to play my ex's account all the time. And then he wouldn't let me raid anymore. So <laughs> I became really good friends with um, the original Alley King. Wait, wait. So, like, you actually wanted to keep playing Clash of Clans even though um, yeah. the game was taken away from you? Yes. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. <laughs> so I had become friends with all the people in the clan at the time because they knew it was me on his account. Uh -huh. Like, he would raid and I would chat, basically. And um, I became really, really good friends with um, the original owner of Alley Cakes because we're just so much alike. And then um, she had decided she didn't want to play anymore. So she asked me to watch her account. And then she was going to, initially she was coming back. And then we were going to share it. And then she was going to come back in the fall. But then she decided she just didn't want to come back. But she has uh, access. She, she'll always have access. What What is it about Clash of Clans that made you actually like just want to play this? Because... When I was playing, you know, it took me a while, and then I, 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 I think it was like when I decided to actually buy something in the game. I was like, you know what? Uh, I really want to play now because I'm actually getting involved in this stuff. So I just took it more seriously. So like, what was it for you? Um, I'm competitive, so when I would win a raid, I would be like, oh yes. So I just wanted to raid more and more and more and more. So that's actually what just drew me into the game. More Is that right? Just yeah, competitive nature. And did you you uh, you started your own account and everything from scratch and worked your way up there, or you just took over nope. someone else's? I just took over Allie's. Allie's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, well, I mean, you've how long have you been playing now? On Allie's account, over a year, and it was before that. It was my ex's account, so probably I guess almost two years in total. I've been playing. Tell you a thing. You haven't set up a second account or anything, right? No. Okay, because no, no, no. I've met a lot of people, like, a lot of the pros have, like, two or three, even four accounts, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I watch, I watch accounts for two people, but oh, they're right? not, okay. yeah, they're not mine, though, but I do watch and manage those two accounts. And so you're, like, you're the co-leader of Bombie Canada, too, right? Um, there's six leaders. We're actually all leaders. Um, there's six of us. So it's me, Loco, um, Corona, uh, DC. Uh, Sundog or Sundrog rather and Anton. Is that We're right? all equal. Mm -hmm. So how how is it how is it with um you guys being like are do you guys consider yourself feeders or just a sister clan or a second clan of Bombay Canada? Um Ken's always said that we're equal. So you see one. Yeah, all the time. He no, never... I can I can see that too because you guys are I think uh, the top fifty around the fifties in the um, world. Yeah, we are. We are. We have a lot out right now, and we've lost a lot of members recently over the wars. Is that right? Oh, you guys yeah. kicked them out? <laughs> well, no, I did kick five people who sabotaged us. Is that right? Yeah, that was kind of frustrating, like super yeah. frustrating and unfair. Yeah, I've, I've had my share of that, too. Uh, it's just good to, to find, you know, some good members that, you know, are devoted to the clan that you mm -hmm. can trust. Uh, so I know how that is. But uh, how is it? how is it going with the war, though? Like, how are you guys doing with war? We're doing really well, actually, with the war. Um, we've only lost one, and we lost it to 300. And um, I actually spoke with their leader directly. He's so nice. Like, he was such a gentleman about the whole thing. That was the war that was sabotaged on our end. So How they, exactly was it sabotaged? Well, for one thing, there was five people. I'm not going to name their names, but I know who they are. Um, but they, they joined us. They decided to put P.E.K.K.A.s, like, level two healers, wall breakers, um, I'm trying to think, like all these random oh, troops. In and my so, class. like when they do that, you, they you're pretty much stuck with that troop through the whole war. Yeah, like I mean, like one one CC had like one healer, and like the rest were wall breakers. It's like what was Whoa. this? Damn. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so there was like a plethora and like a menagerie of troops that made no sense. Like one had like a a level two healer, uh, I think like a Pekka, and then it had like wall breakers. And I think like a level two archer or something ridiculous in it. It was like, wow. what has happened? Yeah. And then they didn't raid. That was the other thing. 
So we had a lot of people who didn't raid in that war. So how is it, how exactly does one get into your clan? Because I mean, like, how would you prevent this from happening in the future if they're just meeting your requirements or do you have them, do you know who these guys are? Um, I didn't know who these guys were, no. But um, for our clan, I'm just looking for more of an adult or 18 plus kind of crowd. That's what we have in there now. Yeah. Um, just be nice, friendly, you know, chatty, active, you know, nothing over the top. So, yeah, there is, you know, there is pros and cons to getting adults. You know, they, they're probably more mature, but mm -hmm. also like the way I've seen it, like the younger, the younger guys are maybe more active. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm trying to I'm, I'm conflicting with that myself right now. Like, should I go for the younger dudes that are more active and they're good at donating or the mature players? You know, they're right. still good um, and they're, you know, very helpful in clan organizing. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually having that problem myself. For uh -huh. us, I mean, we've had younger crowds, like um, in BTC too. We've had some younger players, and it's always become an issue, you know. And also, then we have a, most of the clan is all adults. I can't say it's not. We have a very, very strong core in uh, BC too. And with that being said, sometimes the younger kids that come in, you have to be careful too with age and then how we're talking. And you know, a lot of the people in my clan are married; they have kids they don't want their kids to see some of the things they're saying. So if we have a younger person in our clan, it kind of, you have to edit everything you say and you have to act a certain type of way. You know, you, you don't want to set a bad example for them. All right. So, and also then they get carried away too. And some of them come in and they're cursing and going off the wall. And Oh, wow. So, and so you said you're actually a school teacher, right? And I am. So how does that work well, when you're at school? Like, do, do you have uh, some of the kids actually playing Clash, or do you sneak off to the back somewhere and play Clash yourself? <laughs> no, 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 none of my kids play Clash. Um, but actually, I play it on my preps or on my lunch. I'm always on donating or chatting or checking in. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, you know, when is. I was at school, I was doing that, too. I was just, like, sneak in the back somewhere to play Clash real quick. <laughs> yeah, I will, like, especially if there's anything going on that's, like, important, especially during war preparation time now. Forget it. I'll be like, oh, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom, even though I'm not really going there. I'm going to hide in like a corner just to check to make sure everyone has everything. <clears throat> so, but uh, that's basically that. So I wanted to ask you, uh, what are your impressions about the war? You know, the new update that we just got. It seems to be Supercell's biggest update, and I'm thinking, from my experience, it's been uh, pretty well received. But I'd like to know, maybe from one of the top clans up there, how do you guys feel about the war? I, I enjoy it. Like, I think it's great. Um, there's still definitely some glitches. Like, um, in our last war, one of our members, he was in the middle of raiding, and then, like, it just froze. Completely oh, is that right? Froze wow. Twice. Two huh. times, and he was kicked out of it. So he obviously lost both raids. Um, and we saw, you know, where it had frozen at the time. So I'll try yeah. and show you the replay of that. Okay. And, um, I do like it, basically, but I think that it could be improved upon. For example, we should be able to dump our CC because if someone does decide to sabotage you, they literally can sabotage the whole clan, like what happened to us. Is that right? Um, yeah, I mean, we had, like I said, we had Pekkas and wall breakers and like level two healers. It was like insane. It was literally insane, the, the bizarre troop combos we got. Um, so they should do that and maybe just the same way you have to request troops in the regular game, it should be the same way for war. Not where anyone can just go in and just put whatever yeah, they want. That's, that's actually something that I'm sure Supercell is going to probably patch and fix in the newest update or mm -hmm. in a later update um, just so that we could dump troops or maybe do something so, like, we can edit what mm -hmm. kind of troops we want in there. Right. And then um, we had, like, that whole other thing with um, the last war we had, not just the past one, the one before that, where I know they were using some sort of IMOD because our bases were getting attacked, like, the full three minutes. And then mm -hmm. it wasn't showing any attack happening at all. So one of the guys from my clan went in and confronted them. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they, we were upset. because We won anyway, but it was just, it was an all-day event. Like, they were attacking our bases, and it didn't show any attack. Oh, wow. And there's no way they were sitting on it for three minutes, like, and not doing anything. Well, you know, I had, I've had players send me pictures of how uh, Supercell has patched the iMod, uh, mm -hmm. But you can, I believe you can still use Airplane, but only for like a certain amount of time before it like closes the game right. on you. I know Supercell has probably patched uh, the iMod. Well, I... it didn't work because I'm telling you, they were going like, 
if you post it in my clan chat now, um, you'll get them all up in arms because oh, wow. it was just ridiculous. And it wasn't like once or twice. Like it was literally going on throughout the entire day of war where they were like practicing and then nothing was showing. So I think I sent you pictures of some of them. How, you oh. know, I wanted to ask uh, before we got cut off, uh, what um, in your war, you said you had uh, some players that weren't active and now... Um, these char- these players are probably like the top guys, right? So, I mean, do you guys kick them out, or how does that how does that work? Clan wars works in one of two ways. The first way, it's really you know there are people like myself that that's great, we're positive about it, and then we had other people in the clan that were completely against clan wars. They didn't want any part of it. They didn't want to waste their elixir on it. They didn't want to waste troops on it. Why do you think that is? Um, they feel as a push clan, from what I was told from certain members, that we we when we push and stuff, we're not going so much for loot. It's more for trophies. So they they figured like it's not worth it to them to go just for the loot in the war. They oh I see yeah. There are two like gems. Like if they were getting gems, then I think it would be different. But it's right. They're not. So they left. So we're still scrambling. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're still definitely struggling and we definitely do need members <laughs> so. yeah you know i think if supercell was to probably implement a new type of system for clan wars where it's more about status you know where you get a ranking mm-hmm. or something that probably be, would make uh, the pros that have probably already maxed out mm-hmm. their bases right. want to play clan wars right. that's what i'm thinking right. you know it would be better so, uh, for that you know and then um you know, a lot of people quit too because um, now everything you have to buy with the elixir, even the spells. So that was another issue we yeah. had because they're already using it elixir for that. Then they're going to have to use it for the war. You know, they they think there should be an option, which I kind of agree with, whether you want to use elixir or gold to do spells. Um, it kind of put us in a weird position, basically, because um. I would prefer to use gold. I'm being honest. For spells, not my elixir, because I'm an air raider usually. I can do air. Oh, really? Have you? <laughs> I can do air or well, ground, but I'm much better with dragons. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh man, those are those are really. Um, actually, I've seen a lot of people actually switching to drags now. They're they're uh, going for the. I don't know what their setup is, but they're, like they're making their heroes take out the um, air air defense, and then they're putting in their dragons. Right. So it's like it's a really effective um, strategy they're using. But what 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 would you say you and uh, your your clanmates are majority using the go wee wee or just um, um, dragons? No, most of them now went back to the go wee wee. Um, I do that raid at times, like I have just recently. I was using that raid, but um, I prefer dragons personally. Um, I was taught how to use the dragons with the golem and the CC. So you initially you let out your heroes, your golem in one rage. And that distracts, you know, usually distracts their heroes. And it can normally take out at least one air defense. So, I mean, that's the only an occasion I use the golem. Because sometimes I lose when I do that. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, um, you know, I'd say most of my clan is definitely ground. Now. Oh, wow. Now. So you didn't have a problem with the changing the spells to gold, uh, even though like the walls right now are like three million to get the last uh, version of them. Yeah, yeah, you don't mind that? No, I think it should be. <laughs> basically, I just feel like we should have an option. You know, what I'm, I'm not saying it should be one way or the other, but I think people should have an option. If you want to use gold to buy them, you should be able to do that. If you want to use elixir to buy them, you should be able to do that. You know, I just feel like it would make the game, I think, a little more fun for people. Again, because people are just so frustrated in general, just in my own clan. You know, lack of raids. I mean, you're just sitting in the clouds for hours and hours and hours. You know, and then you try to revenge. There are some accounts, they're online 24-7. Like, they never go offline. Ah, uh, I wonder how that is. I know the they they have, Supercell has, like, a personal break. You know, I think it's after every five or six hours, you mm-hmm. have to take a break, and then they'll kick you off the game. I can send you some uh, accounts that I know that are always online. Oh, wow. always. I've been <laughs> trying to revenge one account for like eight days. And I literally did a test just to see because uh, Supercell said, oh, try different hours. Okay. So I set my alarm for like all these random hours. That account is always online. Mm. Always. It never, ever goes offline. Ever. Is that right? I've um, never seen that shoot. Uh, okay. That makes sense. 
That makes sense. Maybe that's something they can look into. Mm hmm. I hope so. <laughs> so mm. it's just frustrating. You know, it's just, it's become kind of frustrating the game a little bit. Yeah. So that's the word. That's why I kind of like the words. It kind of breaks up that monotony. And what, what trophy range did you say you're at? Um, 37 something right now. 37. So that's probably around the range where it like gets a little more difficult to find players. You know what though? I think they did say like a lot of players, actually majority of Clash of Clans players aren't at that level yet, you know, so you, mm. you probably are just looking for people that like a very small amount of people in that range. Mm. That could be the reason. I don't know. I mean, I just, I just know that everybody in my clan is experiencing the same thing right mm. now. All the upper, you know, the upper players, the higher cups. They're all kind of in that same position as I am. It's just even at 3,500, some people have been having trouble. Wow. I mean, granted, they find more than we do, but they're still in the clouds, in the clouds, in the clouds. Mm. So, I mean, I know it's difficult. It's just difficult all around right now. Mm. So. so did you want to say anything uh, to the fans or to YouTube or to your clanmates uh, about this new update or things uh, to shout out or something before we take oh. off? Yeah, sure. Um, well, let's see. I would love to say shout out if you don't mind to Hitman because I think they're wonderful. So, especially Gimme. Uh, that's another clan. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Uh. <laughs> uh, they're awesome. Uh, I'm very blessed in B2. I can't complain. I, I think we have like the most solid core of any clan I've ever been in. Uh -huh. uh, every single person in there is valuable. So, I'm very grateful. Um, like I said, there's six of us. We're all equal when it comes to leading the clan. There's no one person higher than the other, which is nice. Um, and basically, I guess, you know, thank you for supporting us. <laughs> oh, no problem. You know, yeah. If you want to join us, please come by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, oh, and Asterix, if you don't mind. I don't know if I can say Oh, okay. That. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Asterix is our YouTuber for Bombay. Oh, that's right. That's right. You guys Bombay. have your own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. And that's Asterix. So um, I just want to say thank you. I mean, he really does. He's... He goes above and beyond for Bombi all of the time. I mean, he does the Twitter, he does the media, he does the website, he does the YouTube. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big hassle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really think you guys, you know, you're very gifted and very talented. I know I could never do it. I mean, I don't even know how to navigate YouTube. <laughs> so, like I said, I tried to comment on one of your videos. It said I needed a channel. Oh yeah, you got your own, your own channel. Yeah, so, well, I don't have that. <laughs> so I'm learning. I'm learning, you know, how to do all of that stuff. But um, that's, you know, those are basically the only people I'd shout out to. And, you know, hi to Kent and BC1. Yeah, I actually should be doing an interview with BC1 uh, later on just to see how their war is doing. But uh, mm -hmm. I want to thank you for uh, joining us, for coming on and giving a, a little interview with me. Uh, BC2 seems like a really good clan so I got some footage from them and I'll be showing the uh, fans on YouTube their gameplay so again thank you for uh, doing the interview and hope to see you next time. Okay, thank you for having me. No problem. I really appreciate it. Alright, bye bye. Bye.